Hello everyone, welcome to day 23rd of March Late Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. Even before jumping on to the details of today's question, I would like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart because yesterday we reached another milestone of 6k subscribers. We have been solving the Lead Code daily challenges from approximately one and a half years now and with this we have published more than 620 video solutions. Yes, you heard it right, 620 video solutions. The learning and the growth that we all have experienced in this journey has been phenomenal and I hope we'll together make it successful. Your journey is my journey, your goals are my goals and I promise we are gonna nail it together. Now let's get back to the question which is broken calculator. Here in this question we are given two integers, one the start value other one the target value. We need to reach from the start value to the target value and how can we do that? We have we can perform certain operations on the numbers and the operations are either we multiply the number by 2 or subtract 1 from it. We need to identify the minimum number of operations needed to reach the target value. Let's walk through a few examples. Here they have provided us with start value as 2, target as 3. So what do we do? We multiply this number by 2, we get 4 and subtract 1 from it. How many operations in totality have we performed? 2. Here the start value is 5, target is 8. What do we do? We subtract 1 from 5 and multiply it with 2. So we reach 4 and then 4 into 2 gives us 8. Here the start value is 3, target value is 10. What do we do? We multiply 3 by 2, we get 6. We subtract 1 from it, we get 5. We multiply it with 2, we get 10. In totality we have performed 3 operations. And now let's move on to the presentation and I'll be walking you through the approach as well as various test cases. So we will be building the approach together in the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Broken calculator lead code 991. Let's restate the rules and the understanding that we developed from the question. We are given the start value. We need to reach a target value and how can we do that? We need to perform operations on the start value. Either you can subtract 1 or you multiply it with 2. Very simple to understand. Now let's walk through a few test cases so that we develop the kind of algorithm that we are looking for. Let's hypothetically assume that right now the start value happens to be 8 and the target value happens to be 5. So obviously multiplying the start value with 2 will increase the target value. As a result of which there is only one way out which is you subtract 1 from the start value and here where we go we reduce it to 7 first followed by 6 followed by 5. So what is the observation here? The observation is whenever you see that the start value is of greater in quantity than your target value, you have to perform the subtraction operation because there is only one way out there and the number of operations would be equal to start value minus target value. For the cases where you see start value that is greater than the target value provided start value is greater than the target value. So this is the first and the foremost test case that you should think of in any interview. Let's proceed ahead. Now let's talk about the happy cases. How are we going to approach in general? So let's go what the question told us to do. We have the start value as 2. We have the uh, target value as 15. So let's perform uh, both these operations one by one and let's see along which path are we able to reach the target value. So we have 2 and we, if we subtract 1 from it, what do we get? We get 1. And if we multiply 2 with 2, we get 4. Now let's proceed ahead again. Here we see 0, subtracting 1 from it, multiplying it with 2, we get again 2. Here what do we see? Subtracting 1 from it, we get 3, multiplying it with 2, we get 8. Let's create more branches, subtract 1, multiply it with 2, we get 0. Again, this will cause a similar kind of thing to happen. And here what do we get? We get 2 and we multiply it with 2 here, we get 6. So here we are in the upper arrow we are subtracting 1, in the lower arrow we are multiplying it with 2. Let's proceed ahead, subtracting 1 we get 7, multiplying it with 2 we get 60. And let's just change the color of pen for better understanding. And now let's redo the similar kind of operation on each of these values. 16, 7, 2, uh, 6, 4, 1, 0, minus 1. 
and what do we see subtract one from it we get 15 the other one is 32 and you observe here that the target value has reached as per the question which is 15 in this case and how many total operations did we consume 1 2 3 and 4 which is in sync with our expectation for moving from 2 to 15 you will require at least 4 operations but is this approach correct are we always moving in the right direction no we are not why i am saying this because uh, in any path you are not very sure whether you will reach the target value in the optimized fashion or not here we have concluded all the possible branches of this tree that we that we are forming which is not the best intuitive way how can we look around the question and still maintain uh, what the question is asking us to do let's walk through it so let me just change the color of pen and let's take green this time let's go back to the rules now the question told us to move from the start value to the target value and perform such operations subtracting one or multiplying it with two can we do something beneficial more beneficial than this can we reverse this logic the answer is yes what we can do we can move from the target value to the start value and the operation will be reversed you either add one or you divide it by two why i am saying this that we should go with the division operation the answer is simple because as and when you will see that the target value is even in nature you should always go for the division kind of an operation because it will help you eliminate the other possibility of the entire tree where you are subtracting or adding ones to it so let's walk through very simple example and let's take the similar case now the start value is 2 the target value is 15 and now we are interested in moving from 15 to 2 let's see what will be our tree structure look like so this value happens to be odd in nature since it's odd in nature the only way out is to add one to it so we add one we get 16 the, the other thing can't be done so you have eliminated one possibility of the answer now we see 16 and since it's even in nature what do you do you reduce it by 2 so you divide it by 2 here you added 1 what do you get you get 8 let's proceed ahead again it's even in nature so you divide it by 2 again you get 4 again it's even in nature you divide it by 2 again you get 2 and how many operations have we consumed 1 2 3 and 4 why this approach is better in time complexity over the previous approach that we discussed because here we are able to eliminate the other possibility of the tree structure that was getting formed we are pretty sure what is the next line of action for us rather than exploring all possibilities that's the reason this approach is highly time efficient and what would be the time complexity of this approach it would be order of log n because you have eliminated the other option out of uh, the two options that you had you you always know what next move you are going to take as a result of which the time complexity turns out to be order of log n to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here also i'll tell you another follow up question that we did sometime in the past in the contest that is on exactly same lines as this question so in case my target value happens start value happens to be greater than target what do i do i simply subtract start from target because there is only one possibility that is subtracting the start from the target otherwise i go and check whether my target happens to be even in nature if it does then i reduce my target by 2 otherwise i add 1 to the target let's try this out accepted 100 times faster also if you are looking for another question on similar lines then this one is for you 2139 here again in this question you are given a starting integer you are given a target integer you have to perform operations and with each operation you can either increment the value by one or double the current value also you are given the total number of times max double operations can be performed so I am attaching the link to this question as well as the video solution for this. Do give it a shot. It will act as a revision opportunity for all of you.
this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then take care goodbye with love and peace from sanchit deja your catalyst your mentor in this journey of yours thank you